G'day guys, here we are at the number 12 chamfer support. Now, first thing we're gonna do is put the footprint in. So, rectangle tool, we've got 60 millimeters wide by 90. So we'll put that in, 60 comma 90, enter, zoom in on that, and then we will push it up by 100 millimeters. That looks pretty good. Now, what are we gonna do to start off here? Hmm. Maybe we'll start off with this sort of V part, all right? We can see that from um, from the outside edge in, it's 10 millimeters on both sides. So we'll just get those lines in with the tape measure. 10 in, 10 in. Now, the only information we get about it is that it's a 90 degree angle. So we can use the protractor again uh, from here. We'll go click here, click straight down on the blue axis, and then because it's a um, because it's a 90 degree angle, we need to do half and half. So half of 90 is 45, and then we'll do the same on this other side, straight down across 45. So those two 45 degree lines add up to a 90 degree angle. So I'll grab the pencil tool, and I'll go to that intersection, back up to the top, and we can remove that. Easy peasy. Cool. Now the next bit. Let's see. We need to remove two little chunks here. And then we're going to have to do a little um, rounded bit at the bottom. We'll start off with the maybe the two chunks at the top on both sides. So we can see 80 millimeters from the top will come down. Um, we'll do it on this side. 80 millimeters, enter. And from there, from that 80 millimeters, we need to go up by 20 millimeters. So we'll go 20 millimeters up. And how far in this way do we need to go? It tells us. 30 millimeters. Okay, so I've got those two pieces of geometry in. Easiest way to get rid of it would probably be put a rectangle in there to there, push it in by 20 millimeters, it says. Right over here, it tells me 20 millimeters. And I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, it doesn't look quite right at the moment because I haven't taken away the bottom bits, but we'll get there in a minute. So I'll just turn it around, do the same thing 80 millimeters down. From there, we go how far up again? 20, and then 30 millimeters in. Pull the rectangle in, and double click. That'll do the exact same as before. Okay, perfect. Now, what's next? We probably need to, um, I reckon the best thing to do would be to draw this pencil line across here. Same on the back side. Draw the pencil line across. And we can push this part, this face in, as far as we need to go. So we can see that it needs to go from this point, 16 millimeters in. So from here, 16 in. From the other side as well, 16 in. Okay, so let's grab the push-pull tool and we'll push that face. It's gonna stop you there where that pencil line is, which, you know, it's okay. We just click and grab it again. And then we hover over our first guide point and it takes it in for us. Okay, same on the other side, click. Push it in, it'll stop you. Click it once again and hover over that guide point. Why don't you want to hover over the guide point? Come on. There we go. Sometimes you just need to look at it from a different angle. Okay, so that's all those sort of step parts in. That looks good. Oh, we'll just remove those lines underneath. We don't want those. Cool. Now, we just need to put a uh, radius on this. So we need a, the radius it tells us is nine millimeters. So that would make me think that the whole thing is 18 millimeters wide. Yep, which it is. So all I need to do is go nine millimeters up from the bottom, nine millimeters in. That'll give me the center point of the arc. And we're gonna put in a half circle. So from there, half circle around. Perfect. Now, we got the push-pull tool. We're gonna remove both corners from that. And look at that. That is one pretty good looking chamfer support. All right, great work guys if you followed along. We're going to edit, delete guides, and we can save that. All right, file, save, number 12, chamfer, support. All right, great. Let's go file, new, and see what we got next. Bearing block. Okay, some more arc tools. Um, yep, okay, should be fun. See you over there.